Well, the wife and I are out on the first maiden voyage with the brand new truck and the RV. And as you can see it back there behind us. And we're heading up north for a few days. And uh, we're going to be on the down low, I guess, for the most part. Hopefully the spot that we like is open. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what the, what the lady over here feels like. A little Miss COVID. <laughs> And uh, hopefully she feels better and better. So far, so good. So, more later. made it to the campground and uh, got everything set up the uh, I don't know if you can see it there behind me those solar panels go to a eco power uh, refrigerator freezer type deal I'll talk more about that in a little bit here and the truck got 13 miles to the gallon overall by the time we got to the campsite but when we were down on the flat land doing 65 constant speed it was doing about 15 15.2 miles to the gallon and then so and then i've got the solar set up for the rv i'm gonna have to do something i'm gonna extend the cables on that so i can get it more out in the sun away from the trailer and do something with that and then over here This is the Echo Power cooler I was talking about there just briefly with the uh, solar panel. Um, it'll run 24 hours on solar panel. I have it currently set at 35 degrees. It runs on a, uh, a little battery and it will keep everything cool for, for at least 24 hours on the battery alone and uh, of course when the sun's out and the solar panels are on and it's connected it uh, actually charges the battery and runs the cooler at the same time so very little power and I have it on economy mode right now so yeah let's see I don't know if you can see that 61% right now and I've only been here about an hour and it's been charging for about an hour um, and we started at 58 so hopefully I can get enough juice in it so that it will run all night because I ran it on battery power all the way up but uh, anyways that's where we're at more to come Blue Ridge Reservoir and I'm actually below where the water was just a few years ago although there are plenty of people out here canoeing and whatnot I wonder if that lady's going to lose her cooler in the water. Crack me up if it happens. But I would estimate this reservoir is 40, eh, maybe 20 feet lower than what it used to be. Because right there where the grass meets the rock is where the water used to be. And then up there is the wife. Oh, looky 
what we got. Grill, corn on the cob, get that going, get some burgers a little bit, and we'll be grubbing on some grub. Alright, got the burgers down. We're going to grill up some, uh, some of that. They're cousins. Next time you see this, it'll be done. And, and just like that. Oh, wow. Mmm, dinner. Dinner. I guess I should put it right there, huh? Mm -hmm. Oops. Alrighty. I'm gonna make some blueberry pies for lunch. Yes, sir. My beautiful wife <laughs> is getting the first part ready. Next, some blueberries. Put a lot in there. Put some marshmallows in there. Not all the way because you got to cover it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Marshmallows. Put some marshmallows on there. Alright, good enough. Yeah, got yep, flip it. Flip it. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Alright. close it up. Oh. Alright, let's see some goodness here. Slow and easy. Oh, that, one needs, that one needs to be done a little more. Not yet. Alright. But this one... This one's looking good on this side. Sweet. Now we get to enjoy. Let's see how this turns out. Mmm, ooey gooey. something interesting with this echo power and it worked out to my advantage is normally my solar panel which is from Harbor Freight gets connected right there however I found that the echo power will also connect there so both these solar panels are about a hundred watts each so I'm getting 200 watts into the trailer at full sunlight but the problem is that we had what we ran into yesterday was nothing but clouds so we're having the same issue today if it doesn't get direct sunlight the power is just not there 
anyways back to camping